For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Sending you guys a bit of a pitching video uh, on a windbreak from Outdoor Revolution. So what we've got here is kind of the Move Light Pronto windbreak. Um, so it's a quick and easy pitch windbreak. They did the Pronto uh, sort of last year, but this is the compact version. So it's a little bit smaller. It's only three panels and about each panel is basically a meter in length. But the principle is still the same, as you can see from our uh, pitching video we did on the actual Pronto itself. So you've got, it all comes in a nice little bag. You've got a quick erect part and then separate poles. So what we're gonna kind of do is open up the main part of the windbreak first uh, and then just sort of spread it out. So all three components are already connected to it. So all you've got to do is kind of just, sorry, ouch. I perfectly find it's easier to lay it out flat first. Like I'm here. And then if you press it downwards, I find you're in more in control of it. So you can just sort of very gradually go around, press through. The poles will all stay integral, so you haven't got to remove them at any point. I find you get less kind of pop. From that, because kind of they're prefixed, you can then kind of position it as you want it to. So if we turn that round. Again, you can also give yourself different angles depending on how you want for it to be. So for this, I'll just kind of create a bit more of a, a slight sort of U shape. So if it's windy, like it probably well, isn't today, but if it is windy, what you can do is just kind of initially peg the base down so you've got it kind of in position. Because I can get away with it today, I'm not going to bother. But instead, what I'm going to do is insert the poles. So you get, oh yeah, you get essentially four poles, one for each individual side. And you've got sort of a big spike and a little spike. Little spikes going up, big spike into the ground. So all you can simply do is just kind of open one up. Or we start with probably one end. There's a little sleeve in, in every single model. You can just feed that down. I find it's easy just to press that into the ground a little bit. That way it sort of gets your stability there. And then there's an eyelet located on the point. Traditionally, the guy ropes also tends to be on the eyelet as well. So just by pushing that down and flick it on, you can then guy as you need to. Once you've kind of inserted the poles, you still kind of, kind of tweak it here or there. You don't have to have sort of, you know, stay on where it's sort of located. That's the joys of it. It's because when you're sort of feeding poles through, Normally on a normal windbreak, it's an absolute blooming nightmare because you've got to kind of hold one, tension it, and then move on to the other. Because of the kind of the quick erect frame on this, uh, you haven't got that problem. Like I said, you can just sort of work your way across quite simply and easily. And that goes. <laughs> and over that goes. In you go, in you go, there you go. The more slack you give you, the easier it becomes. So kind of once you're happy with the position of the windbreak, in the ground it goes, over the top it goes. I would probably then suggest pegging down the base. So, like I said, position wise, I'm quite happy with that. We've got a nice little cover around the front. We'll peg that base down just to keep it nice and taut. I say if it is a windier day, you can sort of take that out a bit more. I would even go to the point if you want a bit more security. What you can also do as well is kind of get additional guide points, attach it onto this point here and peg it out. Because I mean, that's the main structure really there. You've also, you can probably see, we've done a separate kind of review video on this, uh, but you can also see the fact that you've got a nice panel, a little window panel in the middle. And because it's sort of, re you've got a, a real sort of tight fit to the ground, you know, it just kind of creates a, a bit more of an area that dogs can't sort of escape underneath. You've got a cater part on each side. So what you could in theory do is actually connect two of these together just by buying a figure of eight clip. And then you can just sort of feed one to another and add a section on. So rather than being just sort of three meters long, you could make it six meters long. So it's quite nice and versatile when it comes to that.
And last but not least. Perfect. You get some pegs included with it as well, which is quite smart, but from there you've got a really nice, strong, robust windbreak. And I said by having some extra brace on there, that would be for sort of truly brats and braces. But as you saw, quick, simple and easy to pitch. Uh, if you want more information sort of about the spec and everything on that, check out our own sort of review video on this model. So packing it away, same kind of principle just in reverse really. So just quick as, just as quick as simple and easy as we saw previously. So we do basically, like I said, exactly same thing just in reverse. So well, if it's not a windy day, you can probably do the guy ropes first. It, it'll, because it's kind of pre-shaped, it'll pretty much stand up in its own right anyway, as we saw when we're pitching it. So if it is windy, I would probably recommend keeping the guy ropes out, leave us the last point you sort of slightly change it a little bit in terms of the way you do it. So once kind of all the pegging points are then removed, we're then going to get the poles out. So I'll start from one end and work your way across. I always find because it's easier to sort of take the pole out of the ground first, because you've got a nice long spike at the bottom, then lift the fabric up. By lifting the fabric up, you kind of take the strain away from the pole. It means then the pole can slide out much easier. So we go pole out. Fabric up, off it comes. And you've got obviously a pole bag to put them in. I'll make sure when you do the pole bags, you make sure the, the spikes are facing up, just that way you're not going to damage the bottom of the pole itself. There we go. And then last but not least, how have got different colours this way, I don't understand. Off it come, up we go. Fabric up, off we go. Wicked. So, once we got to this point, what we can do then is lay the windbreak completely flat. <laughs> so lay that flat, pull it kind of where you need to. Now, you want to kind of have almost one end fixed. Sometimes it's better to work in the middle, round ones I find to work from one end. So, if you've got two points there, just lay kind of down on it like so. And it pops it up. So again, just trying to fix it. You also want to hinge sort of one point or two points, press it over in three corners. So three main corners, bring the, the little hubs to the middle. And it'll sort of roll up. And you can do a bit of a rush job of wrapping the windbreak, the guy that's around the windbreak, kind of hold it in position. And it'll go back into the bag. So you, know, you could, in theory, take it away for sort of the beach, or even, you know, it's fine for campsites. But because it's quite sort of compact, and that's probably the joys of the of the compact Pronto version, it's not too bulky. When you get to the bigger ones, it's a bit longer, a bit fatter. But yeah, that's kind of in a nutshell how quick and easy it is to pitch, and also pack away the windbreak. If you want more information about sort of prices on the windbreak, you can always check our website via the link below this video. It'll take you through to there, give you the sizes and all the spec that you, you know, you need to know. But yeah, any more questions, feel free to comment in the box below. And thank you again for watching. We'll see you again soon.